Hello everyone, welcome to Agrarian Skies, I am Ash, and we're about to survive another session of the Skyblock here, and there's a lot to go over because I've done a lot of work over the weekend, um, it's Tuesday today, I worked most of Sunday, lots of lots of hours on Sunday dedicated to Agrarian Skies, for better or worse, that's my life, you know, Sunday, got a free day, you can go do whatever you want, you know, be social, may have an adventure, and I'm fishing for 10 hours in agrarian skies instead of all that stuff. So, yeah, living live the goddamn dream, you guys. And on that note, let's see, I'm gonna tell you um, about what I did. Obviously, there's some changes, changes that are obvious. Obviously, there's some changes that are obvious. I just said that sentence. That's That just happened. Um, I, ex I changed up the platform, first of all. Let's, let's talk about this, the, the orchard platform where we grow our trees has been changed a little bit. Um, also, you can see now that something magical happened while I was doing my work. A pig. A pig finally found it that he could uh, grace us with his fucking presence, and he spawned on our a lovely grass platform. That was after I cleared the little corner that we had over here with a little farm, and I dedicated a few pieces of new dirt to getting a little wheat farm going. In fact... There we go. It's it's smaller than usual. Um, it was three or four blocks. Now it's just two because I didn't want to waste too much dirt because I was using it all on bricks, on um, seared bricks for our tinkers thing. Um, I also have a little area for this stuff, reeds, Norman Reedus's, and that's this thing. I got two. So I got two trees that I've been farming. Also farmed rubber trees for a little while over here. And then over, I've got the the crops and uh, so forth, and the pig, which I have plans for. I also started building the scaffolding, but then I realized this is actually a new biome over here, and it doesn't grow huge trees. So all the trees that grow, we can usually get from the ground level. So I'm probably going to knock this thing down, because it's fairly atrocious. Um, I ran out of wood halfway through it, so now it's just a, like a fucking path to the, uh, the abyss. Um, so I got into a routine that really, really works. You may notice that my food is pretty high. And I want to make it even higher right now, eating this delicious toast. Now, it looks like a sugar, uh, it looks like fucking uh, Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal, which is... Oh, I miss it. It's delicious. Um, but no, it's just toast. And uh, you just kind of cook a piece of bread in, in, an, in an oven, and boom, you got yourself... You got yourself some fucking toast, and uh, it's the best food we've gotten so far in this mod. I'm sure it's not the best you can get, but it it does it gives you more health than a fish than a cooked fish does. Um, if you cook it, uh, it gives you two health. I mean, it gives you two hunger bars, two full hunger bars. That's amazing. And I've gotten a routine going um, that really has gotten my surviving my survivability to a point where I never have to really worry about it. I always have toast and the, the the key is to wait for skeletons to spawn over there um, I have 37 bone mill but I'm sort of saving that for you know a rainy day I guess I don't know if there's even a point but I wait for them to be at least two skeletons hopefully more spawned then I burn them alive with the daylight because I'm I'm a god and I control that and uh, once they burn, I go over there and get their bones. And as long as they have at least six uh, bone mill worth of bones over there, and it gives you, what is it, uh, three per bone um, of bone mill, then you have enough to grow wheat uh, from, from its lowest point to full maturity, I believe. And uh, that's enough for at least one piece of bread. Usually you can get more out of it. And that is a way that I'm able to sustain my hunger at a almost full at all times basically because with all the stairs that we have never having to jump not really having to exert ourselves at all at this point um, I don't really lose hunger too much really um, let's sleep and burn those bastards alive and I'll show you guys a little bit of it a little bit of a uh, sneak peek into the, my existence here on the skywalk and then we'll talk about the, the, uh, the notice board to-do list thing and we'll go from there. Alright, so I think actually I may have made a mistake. I thought I saw two skeletons, but now I'm only seeing one one as he burns to death. But it's fine. 
Hey guys. Hello, gentlemen. Only one bone today, I see. That sucks. But I do have nine uh, saved up from another session. So I'm going to go ahead and go do the wheat thing. It's important. Let me make sure I get this brain, because brains are also key. Brains are key for compost. They're just free compost. And uh, slime may be actually useful later on. So I've been saving the slime balls I get as well. So the first thing I do in the morning is I go gather up the bones, turn it into bone meal, and this is the bone meal that I am allowing myself to use on uh, the crops. So I just grow as much as I can with the bone meal that I find, gather it up, replant. If I have any left, I do it again between these. Boom. So they're now up to 29%. All I have to do is wait. Normally I would cut this tree down, but I don't feel like doing that just yet. Now, the way I've been getting my compost is by actually composting fish. Because it's so much faster now that I have expanded the water even more. As you can see now, it is, it's, it's a little bit larger in general, but it's also way deeper. It's now three blocks deep rather than one. And that makes it easier to fish, but also one of you guys, forgive me for not remembering your name, my the, the memory portion of my brain is actually mush at this point in my life. But I just get right here, and I aim right at this cloud-ish, and just toss it straight up in the air. So it arcs down, and boom, it's perfectly placed for fishing. And I've done, I, it's so much faster and easier this way, instead of having to aim over there and try to figure out the right angle. Thank you, whoever gave me that fishing pro tip you're the best and it's really helped out a lot um, the fish give you 15 percent on compost it's really good uh, much better than uh, saplings not only do they give you less percentage of compost but they also are much rarer and harder to get because you have to wait for trees to grow or sacrifice bone meal for them uh, much better than brains because brains don't give you very much anything that you can really think of fish are probably better to compost because now I don't even need to eat the fish. I can just eat the toast and sacrifice the fish to the compost gods. Uh, obviously because I'm talking to you and trying to show you guys, I'm not going to catch a fucking fish. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit in this compost, but for the most part, I have everything we need today to finish up the quest for the Tinker's Smeltery. Because I have these pieces. I've got these... I've got a standard seared bricks block, I've got a tank, I've got a controller, and all I need, oh, I also have a faucet, and all I need now is to, I don't remember which piece it was, it is one of these, um, but it's one more piece that I don't have, but I have the bricks necessary to do it, because I wanted to, like, finish it on screen for you guys, and sort of christen uh, the quest, turn in the quest for, with you guys present, you know, make it special, make it a little bit romantic. We can light a candle, scented candle perhaps. Maybe it smells like, I don't know, cookies or something. A little, little bit of romance in this video. Um, so I need to figure out which one. I forget which one I didn't build. Let's see. It is the casting table. That's right. So um, with these seven bricks, I will do this. Boom. Casting table is done. Now I just need to turn in the quest and claim my reward. So the question, I guess, is... Ooh, which tree do we want? We don't want the slimy tree, it's worthless. A peach tree could be good, because we can just pick the peaches off of it all the time. A reward bag, promising. Also, a full heart is promising, but I think uh, either the reward bag or the peach sapling is probably our best bet. Now, sometimes I know the reward bags give you a ton of stuff. Food, we're, we're really well off for food with our current process, so I think I'm going to go with the reward bag, and it's going to give us not only a quarter of a heart, but all, hopefully this will be the, enough pieces to build the rest of a smeltery with, and we can have a smeltery right now. Um, so let's go ahead, if we can, we're going to build it right in the center where we cleared it out earlier, it'll be a perfect place for it. Let's go ahead and claim the reward. Boom. Okay, so let's first of all... I can't stand the the anticipation. Um, I'm put this up first, and then I'm going to open this bag. A really a wooden fishing rod. You can't even use this without bait. 
God damn it, what a waste. I should have got that damn sapling. Alright, I'm gonna put you up. Um Damn it. I guess actually you can use it without bait. Um but I forgot a reed fishing rod. Uh, the wooden fishing rod is better. It's not your standard Minecraft fishing rod. It might be confusing. See, this is called a fishing rod. This is actually called a wooden fishing rod. And in order to make this, you need, like, polished wood. It's actually better than the reed rod. But I'm trying to use up my normal fishing rod first before I move on to any other rods. I just said the word rod. An uncomfortable amount. So let's put up some stuff here to get our inventory cleared up and also... <coughs> Go ahead and make the, uh, oops, I didn't do that right. Make this bread, cook it, replenish our toast supplies. As you can see, there we go. And uh, I don't even need to eat it. So I, I don't eat it unless I have at least two hunger bars missing because that's optimal. It's optimization. We're min-maxing our, our hunger bar here, guys. Um, so next thing I want to do is... Before I build the smeltery, I just want to get my inventory all sorted out, so I'm going to go over here and put this brain in the compost, because we're always going to need it. We're always going to need dirt blocks. Uh, eventually, we will be able to start getting iron from the, the gravel and stuff like that. Let's see. Um, so I've noticed a few things, and I want to look, before I build this, con this thing, at this. Um... We can make a watering can fairly easily, and a watering can will be so valuable for us. Um, it'll allow us to basically infinitely grow over and over again our farm and stuff without wasting bone meal. Um, it's, uh, I think, that's how it works in other mods. If they changed it in this one to make it less powerful, I don't know, but I'm hoping they didn't because that thing would be amazing. It would save us so much time and energy and would give us so much food. Um, I want to do that soon. Uh, build the smelter, we're going to do that today. Acquire iron may be something we do really soon since we don't need dirt to uh, sacrifice for the smeltery materials. Uh, build fences across the bridge. I actually did one. You saw that. This one. I haven't built it there. I ran out of wood. I've used so much wood lately. Um, expand the wheat farm. We're still going to be working on that. We'll need dirt, which it the dirt is now freed up a little bit. So we can easily start making the dirt and making our, uh, our our farm bigger with it. And build the Slim Jim River. Now you may be thinking, what the hell is that? Well, Slim Jims are delicious, first of all. Terrible for you. They're probably one of the worst things you could ever eat, health-wise. But Slim Jims are delicious, and I wanted to salute the deliciousness of a Slim Jim by making a river. And I, what I want to do is... This may not really be effective in terms of functionality. It's not really going to give us much functionality, but I want a, the river. I want a river to run from here down this and all the way across that meets up with our farm over there. Um, just because it would be sweet, you know. So I'm going to build like a little trough uh, to guide the water down, hopefully, and we'll we'll make it we'll make it a reality. We'll make that little dream a reality, and that'll be like the first step to making like a beautiful forest area over there. Uh, but as you can see, I did block up the water so that there's no more stream running down this. Um, mostly because I was working on the water source and I just needed to block everything up. Um, but then I just left it because I had that idea. Anyway, um, back to work. Let's do our smeltery thing. Now, I don't, I'm hoping we have enough stuff. I don't know for sure if it gives us all the stuff we need. But I'm assuming it does. Because if it doesn't, man, I'm going to be completely and utterly distraught. Chiseled seared bricks, seared bricks, um, the smeltery drain, the smeltery controller, the seared tank, another seared brick, um, some cracked seared bricks, and um, a fancy seared brick. So these, all these seared bricks are basically the same exact thing, and they just look a little bit different. So all we have to do is just use these to build something. So what we need to start with is, um, I'm not going to dig into this. Well, actually I could. I think it's deep. I think it's pretty deep, but I don't really know for sure. It would take a minute to dig because we don't have a pickaxe. Ah, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to do that. Um, so what I'm going to do is build it right here. And do I really want to? I don't know, guys. Maybe I should build a little outcropping off right here where this will be. Yeah, let's do that. Um, we're going to be using wood because that's the only building material that's not 
really rare and hard to get and uh, we're going to do it my way or the highway all right that was awkward an awkward silence there for that terrible liner one liner there um, okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a little flat outcropping since this is where the river was going and now it is no longer the plan for a, a river to flow here I'm going to build a nice little platform keeping in mind that we have to have enough room to walk around the smeltery um, so I can build technically a, I think a 16 by a 16 but I'm not sure I want it that big to be honest alright so I'm gonna go out this way it's gonna be majestic it's going to be majestic so what I've done by effectively oh, I don't know really I've, I'm trying to just clean stuff up like you know what I mean? I'm just trying to clean things up. Trying to keep everything organized. Make sure I have room to expand. Have a, a, a sort of a vague plan of what I want to do in the future. So that I can keep uh, room for that. Hey guy, what are you doing over there, you bastard? Um, this may actually be pretty close to big enough. It's going to be... It's going to be... <laughs> I think it's like a 5x5 five five area. Because you need three in the middle for the bottom layer. And then you need three along the sides. Actually, mm, one, two, three, five by five. Yeah, that's what it is. All right, let's do this. Oops. We are going to, of course, build the fencing around this thing so I don't pick plummet to my doom. Okay, so we have a... I'm going to start this block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is an eight. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and add one more layer to this bit. So it's an eight by eight. And we can start building it uh, out in this area and then we can expand it if we need to. So what I'm going to do is make this actually one higher. Like so and put stairs up to it and then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the cracked bit on the bottom let's see it's a three by three block I'm gonna do like this the more I'm looking at these numbers the more I'm thinking we don't have enough outright to make this but I'm hoping that I'm wrong so we're going to continue on as if we think we might have enough numbers. If not, then we're going to have to build what we can and uh, work on getting more in this. I was hoping that we wouldn't have to do any sort of uh, seared bricks in this episode. But we might. Oh, I nearly ran right off. Oh, look at all those fuckers. Let's go sleep. It's very important that you drop what you're doing from time to time and just go sleep and kill the monsters because those bones, so valuable. So valuable. Okay, let's go ahead and watch them all perish. You also get uh, quite a bit of arrows, and if you're lucky, you don't get any creepers or slimes spawned, and you, that means you don't have to really use them, you know, because they'll all die, but there is a creeper, and there's also a little baby zombie, which has never actually spawned before. It's new. You guys are seeing... Some, oh, wow, that fucker is terrifying, too. Yep, I'm just shooting a little baby in, in the face. No big deal. Hopefully this will kill him. No, wow, he's taking so many arrows. Hey, creeper. You bastard, I'm out of arrows. You're lucky. Um, how many health do you have? I'm going to use my hammer on your nog. On your nog nog. Don't want him to blow up because he'll blow up the items. There we go. All right. Look at all this stuff. It's a smorgasbord of spider... I mean, no. Not spiders. That would be terrifying if it was a smorgasbord of spiders. Oh. Man, spiders are so fucking crazy. I think, I'm, I think I have a fear of spiders, guys. I think I'm afraid of spiders. An irrational fear of spiders. I'm just coming to this realization. Uh, there's a video, or not a video, but a gif on the internet. Uh, like this massive spider, like the size of a human head. Like a grown human head just on a wall in someone's house 
and I'm like, what? That is huge. And some asshole. Maybe you guys have seen this gif. It's some assholes like approaching it with like a fucking styrofoam like th box thing that you would put food in and close over it like a to-go box that's made of styrofoam, like one of those white things. And he has one, and he's just like approaching it with it open, like it's a catcher's mitt. And as he gets close enough, the spider leaps at him and goes into the box. But I, I, it's so fucking huge. It like it hits it with so much force, and like the person holding the camera just like terrified, dr like drops it, and so you don't know what happens. But I'm assuming they're all dead. I am assuming they are all dead. If I lived in like Australia or some place where there's more massive spiders and stuff, just for a common thing, oh my god, I would I would move. I would move, but but also if I had to live there, if I just absolutely had to live there, there would be a lot of weapons that allow me to sh kill things like that from a distance. Just saying. Okay, so I need to put a controller down right here. I have a drain, which I can put here. That's not right. Where is the drain at? Where's the drain? Wait a minute, I don't have a pickaxe. I just realized I don't have a fucking pickaxe, guys. Ah, oh, motherfucker. I'm not... Damn it. Well, it's just a drain. It's a smeltery drain, guys. Why isn't it facing the right direction? Oh my god. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I do have a faucet, which I can't... Why is it like this? Oh my god, I shouldn't have put that down either. Uh, it's fine. We're going to pretend that never happened, because we needed another block anyway. Um, so we'll just build another drain, I guess. Uh, drain. Drain. Come on. Laggy piece of shit. Alright, it's just six, so it's one of the easier ones to build. Okay, well, that gives me a chance to do some fishing, because I love fishing so fucking much. Sarcasm. Let me show you guys how to do it. This how masters, master fishes. You listen for the splash, take a drink of your DP, not to be confused with the double penetration. Hashtag. <laughs> Hashtag not to be confused with double penetration. Mmm. Fucking delicious. I do have four brains um, in my inventory, which will go into the compost bin. Come on. You're embarrassing me here. I've been doing fishing in this series. I've also started fishing in, in the Ashes Lab series because we're starting Mariculture Mod on that. If you guys are interested in watching someone fish in a video game, then my god, you're in you're in your utopia right now on Ash Plays. <sighs> Why is this taking so long? Oh, I'm, I'm just noticing that my food has gone down an uncomfortable amount. <laughs> Getting close on here. Look how fast that just goes up. It just goes up so fast. Okay, I'm going to do that. You know what I'm going to do, guys? I'm going to come back when I have all the seared bricks, because there's no need for you guys to watch me fish for like an hour to get this. There's no need. Alright, I'll be back.